Two Chairs No Waiting, episode number 718, Mayberry Events 2023. Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each week by the folks at Weaver'sDepartmentStore.com. Folks, head over and get your Mayberry calendar. The day-by-day calendar is already out. It's already over. We already sold out. So you have to get the wall calendar, the Andy Griffith Show wall calendar for 2023 if you want to know what day it is and have Barney and Andy around. Head over to Weaver's and check that out. Hey, while you're over there, check out the Mayberry Travel Guide. We're going to be talking about Mayberry events, and what better thing to have with you than the Mayberry Travel Guide by Randy Turner. Head over to Weaver's Department Store and check it out. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by donations from listeners just like you. The executive producer of episode number 718 of Two Chairs is Mark Copeland, and the high sheriff of Two Chairs... Uh, no waiting for episode number 718 that would be rex and jamie pennycuff so thank you both for your support uh folks they uh, they actually donate money toward the podcast and that's how they end up getting producerships and executive producers we also have folks over on patreon i want to thank all of them too the folks over on patreon help support the podcast and uh donate and their money builds up over time, and they will eventually be a producer or something as we go through as well. But I just want to thank them. If you'd like to support me, you can head over to patreon.com slash two chairs, and you can support in that way as well. Why would you want to support me? You haven't even heard an episode yet. Just as you're brand new. Well, I'm Alan Newsom, the host of Two Chairs No Waiting, and I talk about the Andrew Griffith Show every week. I've been doing that since 2008, and I am so glad that you're here with me for this episode, because this one, it's early right now. It's January the 16th as I record this of 2023. And I'm trying to give everybody a heads up and about things that are coming up. So we're going to talk about Mayberry events that we already know about for 2023. Because you need to, if you're like me, you need to plan out your year starting fairly early to get your vacation in, to turn, you know, make sure your boss is okay with it, to make plans, all that kind of stuff. So as early as possible, you need to know what's going on. So here's what we're going to try to do tonight is to make sure you know the events that are coming up in 2023. So that's the reason I mentioned you might want to get Randy's travel guide because it's got great information in there, especially about the uh, Mount Airy area. Uh, We'll be talking about Mayberry Days in a little bit here. So let's get started with that. Then we're going to do, uh, I think we'll probably do Randy Turner's report, and then we'll do some Mayberry trivia as well, because we got a great report from Randy Turner. Wow, we just got lots to do. So let's get started. So if you guys have never been uh, to one of the uh, Mayberry events, it's definitely something I want to encourage you to think about doing, uh, because it's definitely, man, it's just so much fun. Uh, So I'm going to play us a little background music here. There we go. So you don't have to just hear me talking because we're going to be talking about so much stuff tonight that I just don't want you to miss out. If you head over to imayberry.com and click on the event calendar, you will be taken to a website that is actually the Mayberry event calendar. It's been hosted for previous years on the eBullet. Uh, website and now we're moving it over to the May the the uh, Weavers Department Store newsletter website. We're moving it over there uh, mainly because we can uh, put all the pictures and stuff in one place, and I have to put them in two because it's two different sites. So when you head over to imayberry.com, click on the event calendar, and it'll take you to the uh, the Floyd's Barbershop Bulletin Board events calendar. That's right. So folks in Mayberry go by the barbershop all the time, pinning up stuff on the bulletin board at Floyd's so that folks know what's going on. Well, this is it. Folks, coming up in March, you can head over to the George Lindsay UNA Film Festival. It's It's not a huge Mayberry event, but it is an event associated with the Andy Griffith Show. And, of course, because of George, it is definitely something you might want to go see. They have a collection of George Lindsay items. Uh, If it's not on display in the library, you can go to the library and ask them and they will possibly let you go in there and look around. So definitely something you'd want to go and maybe be a part of the George Lindsay Film Festival. Coming up on March the 26th, you got Karen Knotts. That's Don Knotts' daughter. She's going to be performing stand-up comedy uh, and stuff at the annual Sunnyside Up International Film Festival 
That's in Miami, Oklahoma. I didn't know there was a Miami, Oklahoma. I bet it's not as warm as Miami, Florida. But you can head over there and check it out. Again, you can check out all these things in the event calendar. That's where you need to go when you start trying to plan out your year is to the event calendar at imayberry.com. And you can find out all these things. So both of those are related to the Andy Griffith Show for the reasons we've already mentioned. But now we're heading into events that are festival type things here. So coming up on the 14th and 15th of April, we'll have the Mayberry I Love Lucy Days in historic Granville, Tennessee. It's Granville, G-R-A-N-V-I-L-L-E, Granville, Tennessee. It's the uh, Mayberry of Tennessee is what it's, uh, the town's logo is. Uh, on Saturday, Granville will be hosting the 2023 Mayberry Squad Car Nationals. That's right. You can go downtown Granville, which is really just the one street. It's really a small town. <laughs> but on that street, they're going to have the obstacle course that the Mayberry Squad Cars have to run. So we've already got a few cars signed up. If you have a Mayberry Squad Car and would like to to enter your car and be a part of the festivities there in Granville, Tennessee, uh, you can definitely reach out to them and you can head over to the GranvilleTN.com website for more information about doing that or just contact me at Floyd at imayberry.com and I'll help you out and point you in the right direction. But they're looking for more Andy Griffith Show squad cars to participate in the Mayberry Squad Car Nationals. During the Mayberry I Love Lucy Day, which is going to be on Friday and Saturday of that week, we're going to have a special guest, Dixie Griffith, that's Andy's daughter, uh, along with a whole bunch of tribute artists that will be there as well. There's going to be a, a session that we're going to do at the, uh, the church there in town. It's going to be in their auditorium, basically. And we're going to do that with Dixie asking questions. She's got photographs. She's got all kinds of really cool stuff and, and fun information. You can say it's about an hour that we'll be able to sit around and listen to that. There's all kinds of stuff happening on the stages all throughout the town. The entire town is dressed up a little bit like Mayberry. And it is definitely an old southern town. Uh, that uh, it's a neat place to go. It's away from everything. So if you're wanting to get away for a weekend, somewhere where you can just relax and enjoy yourself you can do that and then the evenings they're going to present their uh, plays they do a play about the Andy Griffith show they do a couple of episodes as a live stage performance they're going to do those on both Friday and Saturday night and then on Friday and Saturday night as well starting about eight o'clock in the evening they're going to show the Mayberry Man movie outside on a big screen so it should be a lot of fun. So that's a fun event. Last year it was a little, was it cold last year? Yeah, it was cold last year. It rained the year before. So this year is going to be awesome. So make plans for April 14th through the 15th of 2023 uh, to come and check out all these great things. There's an admission of $5 a day to come in, and there's a $5 parking as well. So it's $10. It'll cost you, well, one car load is five dollars for parking and then five dollars a person per day i don't know if there's a anyway go and check out their website to find out more information but think about that april 14th and 15th it's not tax day anymore i don't think the 15th but <laughs> uh, to get away after paying your taxes come on over to mayberry and i love lucy you got i, I was mentioning the mayberry stuff there's, i love lucy they're gonna have a lucy and a desi uh, tribute artists as, as well. They are awesome and they interact with the Mayberry group. So it's a lot of fun to see Lucy and Barney and Floyd and Otis and Charlene and uh, Briscoe all interacting and Gomer. Wow, there's just a lot of people there. Uh, come on out and check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. So the next month over in May, May the 3rd through the 5th, that's uh, during the week, I think, that week. Uh, they're having the Mayberry Retreat in Berea, Kentucky. It's a gathering of uh, discerning fans of the Andy Griffith Show. It's, a, it's kind of an intimate gathering. Uh, and they're going to have the special guest there of Leroy McNeese. Now, Leroy was one of the fellas playing in the band that was recording at Floyd's Barbershop when they were doing the Mayberry on Record episode. You remember that? And they were all around. So Leroy is one of those guys he's the one that said we appreciate you letting us uh, invest in your record company mr maxwell 
<laughs> Leroy is a wonderful man as well. So he is a great musician. He'll be there. I'm sure he'll sing, uh, have some stuff. There's all kinds of great things. Go and check it out. There's a link on the uh, event calendar about how to get to it. Uh, you can head over to mayberrybooks.com and look under events, I think, and you'll be able to find uh, the Mayberry Retreat website. So head over there and check it out as well. Uh, I should mention that that is hosted by our friend Randy Turner. It's right there on the front page. You'll be able to find it. Uh, but there is the Mayberry Retreat. Uh, Randy Turner is uh, doing that. Uh, it's not free. There's a cost to this, but go and check it out. Read all the information about it. And I think you will uh, possibly uh, want to be able to go to that. So definitely check that out. All right. So next up, we're, we've got in Mount Airy, North Carolina. If you're going to be there in June on the 17th, that's a Saturday. Uh, Neil Brower will be at the Andy Griffith Museum. Museum, uh, doing a kickoff of his summer lecture series about the Andy Griffith Show. It's down at the Andy Griffith Museum Theater downstairs. The first one there in June is going to be about Hot Rod Otis. We just did that last week on the podcast. So you're already fresh and ready for it. No telling what great information he has. Much better than me. So go and check it out. Definitely something you want to go if you're going to be in Mount Airy over the weekend of June the 17th. On June the 23rd and 24th, this is a brand new event. It's still in the planning stages, but it looks like it's going to be big. So make plans to be in Mayberry comes to Scottsburg, Indiana. This is a new event. Uh, after a very successful run in Danville, Indiana, of the Mayberry in the Midwest event, it came to a close a couple of years ago, and cities all over have been kind of vying for a chance to take up the arms and take up the, the baton and run with it there in Indiana. So Mayberry is coming back to Indiana, but it's going to be called Mayberry Comes to Scottsburg. Uh, we'll answer the desire to have it back in the Midwest. So the details are yet to be determined, but I know there's going to be a lot of cast members, or not cast members, family members of the cast members will be there. Should be a really big event. I'm not sure I can tell you exactly who it is yet, but it sounds like we may have the sheriff and his deputy could possibly have some of their children there uh, and talking with Randy Turner for at least one event. Plus, all the tribute artists will be there. Uh, this ought to be big. So it's going to be June 23rd and 24th. Mark it on your calendars. Mayberry comes to Scottsburg. And we're going to have Barney. We're going to have all the tribute artists, I should say. Uh, will be there, you know, Barney, Floyd, Otis, uh, Aunt, uh, Charlene, the mayor. Uh, folks, just so you know, that's the town where Mayor Eric Brow, Eric Lowry uh, is from, is from Scottsburg. That's why it is happening there. He has been pushing this event. And so let's all show the mayor a lot of love and show up for this event. I think it's going to be a big one. More details to come about this as we get them. And uh, it will be very soon that this information will be coming out. So make plans. So that's your June. That's June. So we're already up through June. L look at all these great things you got to do. Uh, there's a couple of things not on our calendar that you might enjoy uh, that are not yet confirmed. Uh, some stuff in Valleyhead, Alabama, a small event there. There's a little festival that I've done for the last four or five years that they skipped a year or two because of the pandemic, but uh, it's been a lot of fun there. Very small, so don't over expect, but it's a definitely a fun event they, uh, they have uh, there every year. So I'll leave, give you more information about that, but be watching the event calendar there at imayberry.com for that kind of information. You should always check back just in case you got a free weekend and live in an area, you might want to go there. All right, so coming up in July. So July, of course, is 4th of July. We already know about that. That's not a Mayberry event. But this one is near and dear to my heart because it's the 11th annual Mayberry Meetup. It's going to be July the 21st and 22nd, and then on the Sunday as well, the next day, the 23rd, uh, we do the Mayberry Bible Study. But 21st and 22nd, that's Friday and Saturday, we have the 11th annual Mayberry Meetup sponsored by this the podcast the two chairs no waiting podcast that's right we started that thing accidentally and now we're heading into our 11th year of having the mayberry meetup now what we do basically is on friday and saturday nights we gather at the 
at the gazebo at the Mayberry Motor Inn. And before it's dark, it's kind of like going to a drive-in movie. Before it gets dark, we sit around outside and we talk and we visit. And we have a great time visiting with fans from the Andy Griffith Show and just uh, enjoying one another's company. And as darkness finally comes upon us, we project episodes of the Andy Griffith Show on a big screen and sit around. If you bring a portable radio, an FM radio, you can tune in the audio of the projection and listen to the episode that way if people are around you talking you can still hear uh, there are speakers set up so you can try to hear but it's always if you bring a radio and tune it to whatever station I tell you that night <laughs> you can sit and listen it's a great event uh, it's grown every year even through the pandemic we have continued it and we've had 150 to 100 or so people at the last couple of events definitely think think about uh, coming there there's no charge for this event uh, during that event uh, on the 22nd that saturday at 2 a.m uh, 2 a.m 2 p.m <laughs> neil brower will be presenting his second installment of his uh, summer lecture series about the andy griffith show and it's going to be floyd the gay deceiver so i'm very much looking forward to that now that'll be again held at the andy griffith museum theater to be able to get into the neil's events you have to purchase tickets to go to the museum so it's eight dollars to go but you also get to go to the museum and look at the museum and see all the wonderful andy griffith show stuff that they have there in the museum so definitely uh, if you go to the mayberry meetup you don't have to go see neil's event but I definitely encourage it. Something I think you would, ex uh, man, you're going to love. Neil does such a great job. I know he really enjoys it when we're there for the uh, for the event uh, that weekend because it just fills up his entire show. Now, if you miss it in July and can't make it and you got nothing to do in August, you can head over on August the 19th back to the Andy Griffith Museum Theater. And this one would feature by Neil. Uh, it'll feature Jim Neighbors and Gomer, the house guest. So if you can pick that up as well, it's August the 19th. we got the big event coming up that you need to mark on your calendar, September the 19th through the 24th, the 34th annual Mayberry Days in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Uh, we've got cast members coming. Confirmed right now is Rodney Dillard and the Dillard Band will be there performing. And Keith Thibodeau will be performing with his Christian rock band, David and the Giants. So they're both going to be performing at Mayberry Days. There are a lot of other things going on. There's uh, Michael Hoover's Memories of Elvis. There's Tim White and the Troublesome Hollow. Uh, they do their tribute to Mayberry concert. The Bellamy Brothers will be there this year. Professor Brower, Neil, will be presenting his presentation on Saturday. I believe it's probably on Saturday. Colonel Tim's Talent Time is Saturday night. All the Mayberry tribute artists will be there uh, just a great weekend. If you love the Andy Griffith Show, please make a trip to the Mecca of Mount Airy, North Carolina at some point. And why not make it this year? September 29th through the 24th is the 34th annual. And finally, for the year that we know of so far in October, October 28th through November the 1st, we're going on our cruise to Mayberry number 16. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we're setting sail for five days out of Charleston, South Carolina, starting on October the 28th. And we're going to Half Moon Key and Nassau in the Bahamas. And we're aboard the Carnival Sunshine. Our special guest this year will be Joy Ellison. That's Mary Wiggins. You know, she was uh, one of the, the Scobies. Uh, she was the daughter. She's been several characters on the Andy Griffith Show, actually. So definitely uh, make plans to go with us. And we'll also have several tribute artists, hopefully. Don't know all the details yet of who all's going. I'm 99% sure I'm going, and Lord willing, uh, as Floyd, I'll be there. And hopefully, uh, we believe, Dixie Griffith will be going with us again. That's uh, Andy's daughter. Uh, and, of course, she does the fun girl, Skippy, from Mount Pilot. So she'll be there with us as well. If you'd like to go on that Mayberry cruise, you can go to allaboutcruisesnc.net. And the link is in the uh, in the event calendar. So go and check it out. All right, guys, that is our event calendar. Woo, I've been talking for a while. I hope you guys enjoyed that report. And I hope you'll take some time to actually go out there and 
make plans to go to one of these events. There are so many uh, great things that happen at those events. I'm really looking forward to the one in Scottsburg, uh, Indiana. I think that one's going to be a great one. Uh, Randy Turner's got that nice event that's coming up. If you really want to just have a super relaxing weekend, all kinds of things are included in that one. Uh, there is a charge to be there, but it's going to be, it should be a very, very nice retreat. And it will be like a retreat. Uh, you're staying at a hotel, very nice place. So consider that. Go and check it out anyway and uh, see if it's something you might enjoy doing. All right. So now we are going to hear from him, as a matter of fact, with his This Week in Mayberry History. <laughs> Or or we're or it's going to stop and I'll have to start it again. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to hear from Randy Turner with this week in Mayberry history. I hope, and maybe not. Let me try this again. See, this is what happens when you're doing a show live. <laughs> Welcome to This Week in Mayberry History, a report by special correspondent Randy Turner of the Gomer and Cooper Pyle Comic Book Literary Guild of the Mayberry Historical Society. Whether he was playing Ben Sewell, Luke Rayner, or Rafe Hollister, Jack Prince is a favorite of most Mayberry fans. Jack was born on January the 19th, 1920, in Shreveport, Louisiana. He was interested in music from a young age. When he served in the Army during World War II, he was stationed in France, where he formed a band to entertain fellow soldiers. They called themselves the Chow Hounds. After completing his military service, Jack decided to pursue music professionally and was promptly hired as a singer for Shep Fields' band. Fields was a band leader who originally found success with orchestrations designed for what he called a rippling sound and a successful attempt to make his band stand out from others during the 1930s. By the beginning of World War II, he had jettisoned the brass section and switched to an all-reeds group that he called Shep Fields and His New Music. And his lead vocalist? I know you thought I was going to say Jack Prince. But remember, he was stationed in France during the war. Believe it or not, it was Ken Curtis, who 20 years later would become more widely known for playing Festus on the TV western Gunsmoke. Once Jack became the vocalist with Shep Field's band, he continued to front the band for several years. As the band's lead vocalist, he was heard on numerous radio broadcasts, such as in a 1945 broadcast on WLW in Cincinnati. Jack also recorded lead vocals for a cover of the 1947 release of the song I Guess I'll Get the Papers and Go Home, which had first been recorded by Les Brown and his band of renown. Shortly after this, Jack branched out into performing his own nightclub act, he performed in many well-known and popular nightclubs. He eventually even fronted his own jazz group in a regular gig at the Sahara in Las Vegas. Jack made his professional stage debut as an actor in 1950 when he was cast as Nicely Nicely in the national tour of the hit Broadway musical Guys and Dolls. As an aside, when the musical was adapted as a film, the gangster Harry the Horse was played by the creator of The Andy Griffith Show, Sheldon Leonard. Jack first appeared on Broadway when he took over the role of Nicely Nicely, when Stubby Kay, who had originated the role, left the show. Stubby later joined Sheldon Leonard in the film version of the musical. Jack continued to perform in nightclubs in between shows, and he added the occasional television appearance to his resume. In 1954, he appeared and sang on the Colgate Comedy Hour. Less than a year after that, he became the featured vocalist on a CBS variety show, The Johnny Carson Show, years before Johnny took over The Tonight Show. He appeared weekly on Carson's variety show for close to a year. 
He left Carson's show to return to Broadway when he was cast as the understudy for the actor playing Marion Sam in the Broadway musical version of Al Cap's popular comic strip, Lil Labner. The role of Marion Sam was originated on stage by Stubby K, the same well-known actor who had originated the role of Nicely Nicely in Guys and Dolls. While Jack was the understudy, he was called upon to perform the role on stage numerous times when Stubby K was ill or needed a night off. Jack was then cast as Mary and Sam in the National Road Tour of the musical, though Stubby played the character in the film version of this musical too. In addition to appearing as himself, singing on several variety shows, Jack also did a small amount of acting in television and series around this time, such as in Life of Riley and My Favorite Husband. In 1958, he sang on The Tonight Show with Jack Parr. At this point in his career, Jack had appeared in two Broadway shows following Stubby K, first taking over when Stubby left the Broadway production of Guys and Dolls, then as an understudy on Broadway, again for Stubby K and Lil Abner. But his third and final Broadway musical gave him the opportunity to originate a role and, in the process, meet Andy Griffith, which ultimately led to Jack appearing in Mayberry. We'll pick up his role in the musical Destry Rides again next week. Until then, thanks for listening, and remember to take Andy's advice and go out there and act like somebody. Well, thank you, Randy. It's, uh, Randy always comes up with some amazing things. If you want to miss out or don't want to miss out <laughs> things that Randy is doing online, send him an email at turnersgrade at gmail.com, turnersgrade at gmail.com, and he'll make sure you don't miss out on any of it, including that Mayberry retreat we were talking about. Uh, thank you again, Randy. Uh, so that was part one. We're going to have uh, two more parts related to this so you got something to look forward to for the next couple of weeks all right guys it is time for some mayberry trivia uh you guys ready mayberry trivia music there we go here we go now this is some mayberry trivia sent in by one of our listeners and this is from uh let's see it was from Lori nicewanger is who sent these in so thank you Lori. thank you so much for doing this so here we go. This is the women of Andy and Barney. So the women of Andy and Barney. Question number one. Question number one. If you're ready, here we go. Uh, Barney walked past her house on his way to preaching. Barney walked past her house on the way to preaching. Let's see how you guys are going to do on this. This is uh, These are going to be a little harder. Than uh, past weeks, perhaps, because, uh, but these, uh, they should be fine. Hopefully these are fine. Remember, it's the topic is the women, women of Andy and Barney. Barney walked past her house on his way to preaching. Uh, the chat room is not lighting up with the answers. I saw one answer. So here we go. The answer is Barney walked past her house on his way to preaching. The answer is Miss Rosemary. Miss Rosemary. There we go. Question number two. Uh, Anna Picnic. Okay, this says Anna Picnic with Andy, Miss Ellie, Aunt P, Opie, Barney, and this lady took a walk in the woods. Hmm. I think it says at a picnic with Andy, Miss Ellie, Aunt B, Opie, Barney and Opie. Barney and this lady took a walk in the woods. Hmm. Hmm. This is, I don't know this. Okay, so I'm going to read this again. So I think I finally got it where I can read it. At a picnic with Andy, Ellie, Aunt B, and Opie, Barney and this lady took a walk in the woods. Oh, folks in the chat room are getting it. So if I read it right, folks get it. So maybe you got it. So this is at a picnic with Andy, Miss Ellie, Aunt B, and Opie, Barney, and this lady took a walk in the woods. The answer is Hilda May. Folks in the chat room, good job. 
All right. Question number three. Andy wants refer uh, re to refer this woman as a desperate female hunter looking for a husband. Andy once referred to this woman as a desperate female hunter looking for a husband. Okay. You know this one? Andy, Andy once referred to this woman as a desperate female hunter looking for a husband. Right. The answer is, is Miss Ellie Walker. That's right. Uh, a love interest for Andy in the sharpshooter and cousin of Thelma Lou. What was her name? A love interest for Andy, the sharpshooter, and a cousin for Thelma Lou. What, what is the answer to that question? A love interest for Andy. A sharpshooter and a cousin of Thelma Lou. What's her name? Hmm. Hmm. What is her name? Her name is matches all three of these. It's a love interest of Andy, a sharpshooter, and Thelma Lou's cousin. That's Karen Moore. So, as a bonus, where's she from? Where was Karen Moore from? You remember that? This just is a bonus question. Yeah, that's a good because there was there's 13 questions. I didn't like that. So this is a bonus. <laughs> Where was she from? Karen Moore <laughs> is from Arkansas. Did you get it? Did you get it? She was from Arkansas. All right. Andy once waited in front of this woman's house while she waited in front of the drugstore. Who was it? Andy once waited in front of this woman's house while she waited in front of the drugstore. What was her name? <laughs> uh, Andy, this is the last time I'm going to read it. Andy once waited in front of this woman's house while she waited in front of the drugstore. And she got water splashed on her, I think, didn't she? That was the answer... Peggy McMillan, Miss Peggy. That's right. Number six, Andy's girlfriend that couldn't cook leg of lamb. You're kidding. <laughs> Andy's girlfriend who couldn't cook leg of lamb. Who was that? It's not very hard, I don't think. You're kidding. Andy's girlfriend that couldn't cook leg of lamb, that is Helen Crump. Helen Crump. All right. Number seven, Andy's high school sweetheart who came to the reunion. What's her name? Andy's high school sweetheart who came to the reunion. What is her name? Hmm. These are a little harder. Andy's high school sweetheart came, who came to the reunion. The big fish in a big pond. That would be Sharon to Spain. Sharon to Spain. One of the great natural romances of all time. All right, number eight. Barney's high school love who wrote in his yearbook, the tears on my pillow bespeak the pain that is in my heart. Barney's high school love, who wrote in his yearbook, The Tears on My Pillow. Do you remember her name? Oh, come off it. <laughs> Barney's high school sweetheart, his love, who wrote in his yearbook, The Tears on My Pillow bespeak the pain that is in my heart. That was, oh, come off it, Ramona. Ramona Wiley. Ramona Wiley. Number nine. Barney's unseen love that is a waitress. Barney's unseen love that is a waitress. What is her name? <laughs> Tweaky. <laughs> uh, come off it, Ramona. Tweaky. All right, I'm sorry. I keep going back to the other one. Uh, Barney's unseen love that's a waitress. 
Oh, hi, Frank. No, it's not Frank. <laughs> His unseen love that's a waitress is Nita Juanita. <laughs> Juanita. <laughs> All right, number 10. The only girl Barney says he's ever loved. The only girl Barney says he ever loved. You're the only girl I ever loved. The only girl that Barney says he ever loved. What's that? I can't quite hear you. You're the only girl I ever loved. <laughs> I love that. I just watched that today. The uh, only girl Barney says he ever loved, Thelma Lou. And he told it in front of that whole gym full of people. All right. That was number 10. Number 11, Andy's County Nurse. I'm not sure there's there's more than one of these in there. Maybe not County Nurse. Jim Sherrill's in the chat room. Maybe he'll be able to confirm. Andy's County Nurse. County Nurse. Okay. I don't know if we got the last name. Andy's County Nurse. What was her name? Okay. So, Andy's County Nurse. Her name is Nurse Mary. I'll get that. Uh, the, the answer I have here is Mary Simpson. But I don't know if both Nurse Marys were both county nurses and both of them were named Mary Simpson. So I'm not quite sure. Mary, that was uh, that was the answer Jim Sherrill gave. So Jim can answer that if Mary Simpson was both of the characters' names. Because we had one that gave uh, Rafe his shot, was Nurse Mary. And also the, uh, the one that uh, Barney kept interrupting the date, you know, the blonde one. That was, she was, yeah, the pepperelli, the pizza, the mozzarella. <laughs> or whatever it was. All right, let's go on. So somebody in the chat room can tell me if it's the same. Yeah, Julie Adams was Nurse Mary Simpson, but there was another Nurse Mary, I believe. All right, number 12, we got two left. Uh, Barney's already married girlfriend. Barney's already married girlfriend. Hmm. Barney's already married girlfriend. Fiance, for that matter. Barney's already married fiance. Okay, so the answer to that, <laughs> uh, her name, do you remember her name? Barney's already married girlfriend. Barney's looking at that light bulb. You remember that? All right, her name is Melissa Stevens. Melissa Stevens. She was already married. All right, and number 13 is our final question, but it's actually number 14, so just in case, because we had the bonus. If it was 13, I don't want, I wouldn't like it. All right. All right, so here is our final question. High school sweetheart of Barney that he took to the movie premiere. High school sweetheart of Barney that he took to the movie premiere. Now, this is a color episode. So, how are you going to do on this one? High school sweetheart of Barney, Fife, that he took to the movie premiere. And you can use her uh, stage name. I guess if you give her... <laughs> folks in the chat room gave her actual name. All right, so her name... Uh, on the show was Tina Andrews, but back in school, her name was Irene Flog. Irene Flog. And Don Good in our chat room got that one. He was the first one I saw uh, to get that one. Yep, so Andrews, A N D R Andrews. Yeah, Tina Andrews is the other one. So there you go, folks. That is all of our questions. Tina Andrews was good. I think if you said Irene Flog, I give you bonus points. So good job. So there were 14 possible points. How'd you do? 
How did you do? I hope you did well. I hope you had fun. That's the main thing. And wow, we've been talking a long time. We're 40 minutes into this podcast. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that trivia. I hope you enjoyed the report from Randy. And I hope that uh, the... Uh, the event calendar information is good for you. So head over for sure to imayberry.com, click on the event calendar, and you'll be able to see the most up-to-date events. And while you're over there, you know, go to, uh, go to the, at the very top of that page, you'll be able to see the subscribe uh, to the Weaver's newsletter. I want to encourage you to go and subscribe to the Weaver's newsletter uh, because the e-bullet is no longer being published and the Weaver's newsletter will be your main source for a lot of uh, information from TAGS RWC. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for being here. Uh, thank you for taking the time to visit with me in Mayberry. I hope I gave you information that was useful. I was hopefully entertained you a little bit. I want to thank our trivia submission from Lori. Nice longer. I hope I said your name correctly, Lori. You can correct me. Uh, but uh, I want to thank her for her trivia. I want to thank all of you for playing along. And I want to thank Randy Turner for submitting this week in Mayberry history. And, folks, I hope you guys have a great Mayberry week. I look forward to seeing you next time right here on Two Chairs. You can email me at floyd at imayberry.com or just drop by over at twochairsnowaiting.com, and there's information about how to call me, all kinds of stuff there. Until next time, everybody, have a great week.